Hey guys, it's Adriana here from AdduLab, and today we're going to talk about tracking your progress. Now, tracking your progress is very important when you're on your SEO journey because you want to see if the things that you're doing are making a difference. So how do you measure your efforts? Well, we recommend signing up for a free account on Google Search Console and Google Analytics. Let me explain what each of them do. So on Google Search Console, this is where you can see your visibility to search engines, such as Google. So on here, you can see when Google is visiting your website, when they're crawling it and indexing it. So remember, crawling means that they're going to your website and checking out your content and seeing what you're all about. And then indexing is when they store this information. They say, okay, Tom's Sunglass Hut is all about selling sunglasses. So this is really important, especially because you have our app installed and our app has inserted structured data into your website. And if you're waiting for rich snippets to be awarded to your website from Google, and you're wondering if Google has visited your website, well, Google Search Console is the perfect tool to have because you can actually see concrete data of when Google has visited your website. So definitely if you're waiting for rich snippets or you just want to see how things are going on your website, definitely register for a free account on Google Search Console. They also list any errors or violations that they find on your website. So this is also really good to keep an eye on. Also, you'll want to sign up for a Google Analytics account, which is also free. And you can link up your Google Analytics account with your Google Search Console. And this is great because they share the information and you can see which keywords people are typing into the search query and arriving at your website. So very important. So what does Google Analytics do? Google Analytics is where you can track your performance. So you can see how are people behaving when they arrive to your website. And this is really good because you want to make sure that you're keeping a close eye on how your site is performing so that you can drive results. What I mean is you need to see how people are engaging with your website so that you can better serve them. And Google Analytics gives you a lot of information such as the age of your audience, where your audience is coming from, so the country, the language they speak, and a lot of other information such as site traffic. Site traffic is really important. You want to know where is the traffic coming from? And this answers that question. It can either be referral traffic. So this would be if you know you have an email with a trackable link or advertisements. Then there is direct traffic, which is when someone types in your website, they actually memorized it or they have it bookmarked on their computer. And the third one is organic search traffic. That is the best one. It is the one where people are just searching in a query into the search bar, such as best gluten-free cookies, and then you're popping up as the first page of results. So it's just organic, meaning that you're not paying for it. And that's great because that's what you really want. And the way you get organic search traffic is through SEO, through improving your SEO. So Google Analytics is also great because from the information that you get from it, you can create marketing and advertising campaigns. So if you know that all your visitors are coming from Switzerland and they're in the age range of 30 to 40 years old, you can create advertisements for that specific demographic. All right, so I've covered a lot of points here and there's a lot of information out there concerning Google Search Console and Google Analytics. Google just offers these amazing tools and they're free. So definitely take advantage of them and make sure to track how you're doing with your SEO. You want to make sure that you keep a close eye on it so that you're not just guessing, you know, that you're doing well this month. Get some concrete empirical data to back up your opinions or your hypotheses, because that way you can improve your website, improve your SEO and better serve your customers. Thanks guys for watching.